Hello class, I'm here in the front of my physics classroom and on the teacher's desk in the front of the room. What I have is a spring that's tied to the pole at one end and attached to a speaker at the other end. The equipment, the speaker, is attached to a sine wave generator that sends out a sine wave signal to vibrate the speaker diaphragm up and down at a given frequency. I can, uh, as you look, uh, we'll zoom in a little bit, and what you can see as we zoom in is you can see this speaker bobbing up and down. It's attached to the spring. And what we can do with this apparatus is we can study standing waves, longitudinal standing waves within a spring. So what I'm going to do is take this little sine wave generator and increase the frequency of the sine wave generator up to around 35 hertz or thereabouts. So there I have it. And as I get to 35 hertz, one thing that you begin to notice is we begin to generate a standing rate right around, there we go, 33.32.5 hertz is where we hit it. And so if I look at this little situation, I'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see. What you're going to notice is that there are points within this uh, a spring which have nodes and other points which have anti-nodes. And so I can take this little node card, as I call it, and I can stick it in the spring right here, and we are absolutely nothing at all. But meanwhile, I can go down here and stick that little node card, and we hear a lot of chatter from the coils of that spring vibrating with the node card. We call this an antinode, and we call this an antinode, and then right in between those two antinodes is this spot right here, which we would call a node. Now I'm going to increase the frequency again, and I'm going to get it up to Let's try right about there, which is 64.3 hertz. And so I've nearly doubled the frequency to 64.3 hertz. And what I'm going to see now is I get twice as many nodes. That's somewhat of a node. That's somewhat of a node. That's somewhat of a node. And of course, up here where it's fixed, we always get this node. And in between all the nodes, we'll see anti-nodes. And the antinodes are the points within the medium that are undergoing maximum back and forth vibration. I'm going to try one more alteration in frequency. I'm going to go up to around 90, right about there, 95-ish or thereabouts. And when I get up to around 95, what I'm going to see is another pattern of alternating nodes and antinodes. See if we can see that if I zoom in a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to zoom back out, and I'm going to do my little node card test. So in my node card test, in my node card test, if I stick it right here, very little chatter. On the other hand, sticking it right there, lots of chatter. Very little chatter in that node. Very little chatter in that node. But in between nodes, lots of chatter. And so that's what we call longitudinal standing wave pattern, another example of amazing physics.